Imagine you own a little piece of heaven. You've got this little place you can go and get away from the rat race, hang out with your buddies, go to the woods if you want, go out in your little boat if you want. It's your dream vacation spot. It's all here for your enjoyment. But you pack up one weekend, you load up your drinks, your sandwiches, and you get here and it's full of bees. Your dream is broken. What do you do? Turn around and go home. Dream weekend over. Well, we're here to take care of that. Because fixing broken dreams is just what we do. Little cable pass through. Supposed to supposed to block out stuff, but doesn't doesn't do a very good job of it. I'll fix that before I leave this so they don't get them in there again because they'll definitely get them in there again if I don't fix that. For a nice change, we got air conditioning. These are going to be in the bottom of this vanity. Now, typically on these RVs, I've got a little more room to work than this. This is two hands wide. I normally will disassemble the sink, the vanity up, up top, so I can see everything up top, and I can I can work through the hole on the top and through here, take the floor out of this vanity. Is typically what I do. But on this one, since it's just going to be a clean out, it looks like the colony is dying off. This panel right here is stapled from the inside now I can't staple it back from the inside but I can hang it and glue it in place and catch it with a couple of trim nails so you can barely tell anybody's ever fooled with it before but this is an old hunting camp trailer and he didn't seem too concerned about whether it did any damage he said we'll fix anything you damage I said no I'll put it back I'll fix whatever I take apart so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take that bottom panel out and clean it out from the bottom uh, make the job a little faster and hopefully Hopefully it's not honey loaded because that's that turns into a real mess. I started out by sweeping the floor just to make sure I wasn't spreading bee guts everywhere, but they have defecated all over the place as they've come in here and died. There's an electrical panel, there's the stove. Small hive beetle. That's a bottom outside comb. It's full of honey. Okay, so I missed by three feet, maybe even four. But in my defense, every RV, every pull behind that I've done where the cord goes into the side of the RV had a coil up spot underneath the vanity. So I just assumed that's where they were. Made an assumption, we all know what happens when you assume. So the noise that you're gonna be hearing a bunch is that it sounds like a sheet metal scrapey type noise. Well, that's my forearm going in and out of that slot, the drawer slot. And scraping across the edges of the wood because it's kind of a tight slot my arm barely fit 
I couldn't really see. I would look, lay back down, reach, do, grab what I could grab or cut what I could cut, pull it out, look again, reach again. So for hours, and at the end of the job, my neck, my traps were just trashed. And uh, it gets a lot easier later on, as you'll see really soon. wash up so I could reach behind that panel with my phone. I can't see behind that electrical panel. And although I don't expect any exposed wires, I can't really see. Right, I'm at the end of my reach up in there. I've dug out probably 60, 70 pounds of comb. Honey, you saw how much honey was in there. Now we're at a spot where we got more hive and guess who showed up? Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> who showed up? So now we're gonna guess pull. Guess who else showed up? Hello. <laughs> that was exciting. So now we're gonna pull the panel out and see what we got behind it. Cause I know there's 
they're built all in the wires and just in a terrible spot Ooh, pretty it's funny Ooh, this is a beetle yeah there's i killed quite a few this is the first camper that i've seen that the um electrical comes in under the stove i'm sure there's plenty of them like it but i've never done one myself it's gonna be nasty trying to clean up with no water oh we got water <laughs> yeah Ooh. gallon and a half of honey water yeah look like somebody peed in a bucket <laughs> <laughs> It's just collapsing back in there. I'm gonna be here for a while cleaning. I'm thankful. I'm thankful there was enough wire to pull this out. Yeah. Oh my Get my hand out of the shot. I forgot I had it on wide angle. I didn't know my hand was in the shot, blocking stuff. Oh my goodness. There's more cone up in there. Oh yeah, it goes good ways. And they're built onto everything. Sure would have been some good honey if they hadn't sprayed them. Yeah, would have been. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Know how that goes. Is that really the order it goes in? Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Something. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> anyway, anyway it goes, it all means the same. But does it though? I'm glad uh, the back of this panel is kind of sealed up. Oh, me too. It's interesting to see how it's built. I've never had a panel out of one of these before and I need to take mine out of my camper. And now I know what it looks like on the back side. better leave this thing open so, so the bees can come in and rob it out because this ain't mess up in there. Oh, I know. I got to clean all that up. I might have to run get some more water because the pump ain't working here. Let me get the Milwaukee light in the shot. Brand deal. Give me a Milwaukee brand deal. Oh, yeah, that'd be some, man. Yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of that in there. I done pulled a whole bunch out like that I got a five in one if you want to scrape along the top of that cabinet yeah probably so got it nice and clean for you <laughs> back there already yeah they built around it that's a factory somebody put a broken board in there i guess to keep the cord from wadding up around the back of these wires when you push the cord in oh my god this thing is way back there all the way to the wall this next piece i can't get out of one slab because it's too big that's what i've been dealing with and no reach i've been reaching up in these little holes my biceps are raw from shoving up in that right. up in that gap right there the milwaukee light turned off now <laughs> if we're gonna get a tool deal out of this at least get something that stays turned on well i gotta say it's been running on these same batteries for multiple jobs it's waterproof i've been washing it off in the bucket i just gotta go put some more batteries in it I don't think I've changed the batteries, but once since I've had it, and I've had it for a good long while now. Ooh, that's a mess back there. Ain't gonna be some robbing going on. What do you think? There's a lot of honey. You ready to move in? Not quite. 
fight. Did you pick a camper out, I think? Yeah, that one back there. Nice one. You gotta start somewhere. Oh, yeah. You found a mode of transportation, too. It was a nice little pontoon paddle boat back here. Oh, yeah. Splinter or a sting? Uh, couldn't tell. I didn't know if I was getting shocked or, or stung. I I've think got, it was a stinger. I've gotten stung twice, which ain't bad. I think it was a stinger, but there wasn't no fly be there. Much out down to scooping dead bees now. Going pretty much out, but there's a piece in there that I can't get to. Is that it, Jason? I can't see it. This is rocking. When I get to where I can see it, I can't reach it. When I get to where I can reach it, I can't see it. Don't worry about getting your shirt nasty. I got clean ones in the truck. <laughs> you can go home looking like you're wearing a house coat. <laughs> yeah, wearing a moo moo. Yeah, well, I've been all up in the bottom of this cabinet for about four hours now. That was after locating them. I've probably been on, on the job here for five hours because I did go in the bottom of that vanity. So I got everything that I could through the drawer holes here. Really couldn't reach anymore. Had to take that panel out. And then a hero comes along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jason, for showing up. Uh, no problem. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Jason's been working like a champ, holding the light, pulling cords. I didn't get any of that on video. You gotta get back down there and do that. I need to get my cord. I know. Get down there. <laughs> Thankfully this RV has a working air conditioner. I've never worked on a cutout in an RV that had working air conditioning. This is so nice. Yes, that's special. <laughs> like we care. <laughs> People under a certain age just are not gonna get that. No, they're not. Thank you, Dana Carvey. This is just nasty. Like Miss Jackson nasty. <laughs> I don't know if it's quite that nasty. Not <laughs> the battery's free way. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see what they came out of there? They're dead, corroded. Close. It's the right kind anyway. We've got it all finished. Cleaning the floor. It was sticky with honey all the way all the way through and cleaning dead bees through the whole camper. 9.30 at night. Probably got another hour, hour and a half to put this thing back together, finish cleaning up. And then an hour drive home. <laughs> Only to get up early in the morning and drive to Dolphin Island, take the grandkids to the beach down there. It's worth it though. <laughs>